Hi, welcome back to my Calabash iOS training tutorial. And in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to set up the project. It's basically I've done I've done it in my previous tutorial, but in this tutorial, I'm going to focus on how the steps are run and how uh, what are the errors encountered and how to verify them. But it's it's going to be a quick video and it's not going to be in too much detail. Um, yeah, if there are some errors you feel like, leave a comment on my video. Then I'm going to explain you how how to resolve them. But at the moment, this is just like a quick video to show on what are the things to be verified after running the automated Calabash setup. So let's move on to the Calabash wiki page. So this page uh, shows the steps to be done for automatic setup. So the first thing is navigating to the project folder. That is this one. Second thing is installing the Calabash Cucumber. I think this you would have done all this and yeah, if there are some errors that should be mainly in Ruby installation. Uh, my first video, the part one Calabash iOS training that mainly focuses on some of those uh, installations. Okay, and uh, it, there are some help uh, found on my blog as well. That's uh, the tech problems solved and yeah, you can search in Google and you'll find it. It's first or the second link in that. Okay, now th the main important steps are Calabash iOS setup and Calabash iOS gen. So Calabash iOS setup includes your Calabash framework into your project. It creates a new scheme and a new target in your project directory. And Calabash gen creates the skeleton for the feature files that looks something like this. It generates this features directory and yeah, a feature file and these are the steps so you write a step you write a feature in here oh, it's not the way to go open it in Mac. Yeah, okay this is the way so yeah you write your steps in here and then you can then you compile them you get errors saying these steps are not implemented and those can be implemented in your ruby files so yeah looking at all these things is a total different video but now i want to focus on this calabash setup so yeah these are the four steps if everything is fine so you'll have proper calabash running when you just execute your fifth com sixth command that is cucumber so usually the problem lies in here that's uh, third command calabash io setup so yeah the things that you have to verify when you after you're done this step are open your project go in here see that in your frameworks directory of your project you should see cf uh, network framework and calabash framework so you click on this calabash framework it should show the member it should show the targets for which it's uh, uh, supported and it should the Calabash test prod hyphen cat is the prior is the one that's created is target that's created and that should be ticked otherwise you're not when you run your Calabash hyphen cal scheme by selecting Calabash hyphen cal target uh, yeah from here you won't you won't see your Calabash server being started so this is the first verification and second verification is go here search for other linker flags uh, other linker should do and uh, make sure that uh, all all settings is uh, checked out and when you click on this you should have uh, different options click on this yeah here you can see that calabash framework is being loaded when the, when this uh, when your application is being run so yeah that's that's the one that starts your calabash ios server So let's see that now. I'm starting starting my application from Xcode. So the build is fine. So it started my simulator. And I'm more concerned at looking that my Calabash iOS server is started in my output output logs. So let's see that here as well. So yeah, I, I just need to wait until it comes up. Okay, my application is being installed and launched. And um, yeah, the main things I'm looking at is Calabash 
IO server is created and it started and you sh it should start on this port okay another verification step sometimes we get the failure because that uh, the certificates are not valid so I have posted a, I posted a post in my blog which says how to set up the Apple from Apple to the Apple setup for Calabash iOS that mainly involves that this code signing identity should match to should match your current distribution yeah and it should yeah it should pick up from here otherwise you get this uh, assigning identity error so if these three checks are fine then you start when you run your Calabash iOS project from here you should obviously see that your application is launched and your Calabash iOS server is started so after this you can execute your Calabash iOS console command to see a uh, interpretable Ruby shell and uh, interactive Ruby shell being launched where you can execute your Calabash commands and you can also uh, do your run your cucumber commands to see that Calabash iOS uh, will launch the application and do the testing of that and there's a catch in that when you are running uh, this Calabash uh, the cucumber command from command line on a simulator it does start automatically but on device you have to launch your application and then run your command on it will only execute your test but not launch your application on the device so yeah this this is a quick uh, this is a catch in there other than that if all these things are fine you should your application should be up and running so that's it for now this should help your uh, this should help to set up your Calabash iOS framework and do a verification if there are things wrong uh, if you need more help just leave a comment in my video if you like the video click like and also subscribe to my channel thanks for looking at this have a nice day ahead